Welcome to Firebase release notes for November, where we cover recent big and small releases from Firebase. Now we have six updates to cover today, so let's dig in right away, shall we? At Next.js Conf last month, Vercel launched Next.js version 13. This is a major update to its popular framework to build static and dynamic websites and web apps using React.js. And we added support for this update in version 11.16 of our Firebase CLI, so that you can now also deploy your Next.js 13 apps by simply running Firebase Deploy. See the documentation on integrating Next.js that I linked in the description below. And since this same version 11.16 of our CLI, you can now also pass a disabled triggers flag to commands that write to the root database. And those then don't trigger cloud functions for each individual affected path. This can significantly speed up large data delete, move, and import operations, as you can then post-process the final state in one go after the write operation completes. The Firestore panel in both the Firebase console and the Cloud console now allows you to visually build advanced queries to filter what data is shown in the UI. And this is a great way to reduce the data that the console consumes. But even better, it allows you to quickly test many types of queries before you translate them into code. The new Query Builder also shows its results in a table view rather than the panel view that we already had. And showing data in a table view makes it easy to scan and compare documents to each other and shows much more data in less space. And speaking of Firestore, the client-side SDK for our primary platforms now supports index queries on the locally cached data. This speeds up queries while your users are offline, just as server-side indexes do for online queries. To get started, you can export your index definitions from the Firebase CLI and then import those into the SDK when the app starts, so that it has the same indexes on the local cache. Check the link to the documentation that I included below. The Firebase console now has a What's New section that shows you up to three recent changes that we made to the console. We started with an announcement about extensions, and since we noticed that a lot of developers engage with that, we'll be showing other updates here too. We also added a list of new features to the Crashlytics panel of the Firebase console, which makes it easier to see what features have recently been added to just that product. Love the UI tweaks? Hate them? Let me know in the comments. And finally, we have a dedicated command line tool that makes it easy to connect your Flutter apps to your Firebase projects by generating a Firebase options.dart file with all of the configuration data. And in its latest release, this CLI can now also update the Firebase dependencies in your pubspec.yaml file to the latest versions with a single command, Flutter Fire Update. This makes it even easier to ensure you have the latest Firebase SDKs with the latest features in all of your Flutter apps. Those were all the updates we have time for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Franco Puff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.